Alrighty, folks. So as you'll recall, we did a YouTube video a while back that had me reacting to woke videos. My producers decided to torture me with that. But apparently y'all love that, so they get to torture me again. So here we go. Hi, everybody. It's your friendly female alter art. And in today's video, we will be switching. Me and Alex will be switching out who is in front in this video. Please give us a like because I know we're going to get called fake for this. All right, here goes. Hey everyone, it's Alex from the A system. The reason me and Art can switch so quickly is because we've been in the system the longest. We've both been in the system since early childhood. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? For example, the switch between me and Asher is a lot longer than that. Thank you. Um, so at the beginning, I thought that this person was actually going to perform some sort of feat of engineering. Because they're talking about how they're going to switch and the switch is going to be fast. I'm like, wow, we're going to like what, build a computer or something. Nope. We're just going to demonstrate some symptoms of pretty severe mental illness and treat it as though that is like a, a sign of not only wellness, but higher being. Art, who is a she, her, and Alex, who is a he, him, are the same human. And switching your voice a little bit does not make you a different human being. If you actually have multiple personality disorders to the point where you actually believe that you are multiple personalities, you really, really need to see a psychiatrist. That is a serious mental disorder. Man. How do you feel about flat earth? I mean, it's flat. You're, run you're running with flat earth theory? Yeah, yeah I'm running My uncle one time, so I'm from Maine, I'm a lobster fisherman, right? So my, my uncle one time, he got in his boat and he went way past the three mile line all the way out towards Canada. And I swear to fucking God, we never saw that motherfucker again. He went all the way past towards Canada, and I believe, personally, that he sailed off the edge of the Earth. Well, there's always the Marianas Trench, and you know that it splits the Earth in clean in half, right? And so if you if you fall off the edge of the Earth, you just go straight in. That's, yep, that's yep, all right. I feel like you can sign up. Thank you very much. Um, are those people serious? <laughs> You serious? Uh, like, I, I, that has to be a joke, right? Like, if they're joking, that's really funny. If they're not joking, it's even funnier but sad because presumably folks like that vote. Story time. This has been my first year in preschool with a class of my own, teaching alongside another queer neurodivergent educator, and we have been rocking our two's class. We've been talking about gender and skin color and consent and empathy and our bodies and autonomy. It's been fabulous. But our teaching team is shifting and a new person is being onboarded, someone with many years of experience. So today at the lunch table, when the topic of gender and genitals came up, one of our students plainly looked up and said, well, I'm a girl today, but I know that teacher Ko isn't. No, they're NB. And the look on the incoming teacher's face was priceless. She was shocked in a good way. And she just looked around at the two of us and said, this class is incredible. And I am so impressed. Take your kids away from these people. Take your kids away from these people. Mom, can, can you pick me up? I'm scared. These people should be nowhere near your children. They're indoctrinating two-year-olds into the idea that they can change their gender every other day, which is a lie. It is an absolute lie. It is not true. It is garbage. It confuses children. It makes them more depressed. It makes them mentally ill. It is a really, really large... It, like, why would you Why would you ever put your kids in the hands of somebody like this? Why? Does this, does this seem like a, a rational person to you? Teaching your two-year-old about their genitals? Are you people insane? And I, honestly, I don't blame this. I don't blame this woman. I don't blame her. I blame the parents. Who the hell are the parents who decided I'm giving my kids over to this person? I mean, this person is an adult. She can do exactly what she wants to do. And if she wants to call herself NB or Wimby or Humby or Gumby, I don't care. But if you are talking about handing small children over to the predations of this ideology, you are a bad parent. You are a terrible parent. You know what? You're right. Babies don't choose their gender when they're born. Uh, babies are babies, first of all. Second of all, Sex and gender are two completely different things. Uh, babies are assigned as sex at birth based on their genitalia. Gender is more of your concept of yourself. It's the way you innately identify and feel. Uh, once my child is old enough, they'll tell me how they feel and um, what their preferred pronouns are. I'm crying along with that baby. In a sane world, CPS is on the way. 
I mean, really, this insanity, like placing on a child the notion that the child is going to choose their own gender. We know what gender your child is. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. The peculiarly Cartesian duality between the gender soul and the human body that these people purport to believe in is just, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy and it's, and it's sad. And when it's applied to kids, this is a dereliction of basic parental duty. Your job as an adult is to guide your child through life, not to sit around waiting for your child to tell you what they think their gender is. Kids are not assigned sex at birth. Any doctor who says that kids are assigned sex at birth should not be a doctor. You should be put in a mental institution. Look, Dex, the walls are padded. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Yeah. Sassy, moody. Hey. Well, I mean, dogs can transmit COVID. I don't know if the dog is vaccinated, so we have to be super careful. Dogder Fauci says so. That's disgusting. This one's for all the people who get offended by being called colonizers. So if that's not you, you can keep scrolling. The rest of you, I don't ever want to see or hear you ever again say that you shouldn't face the consequences for what your ancestors did. You should, because in this exact moment, you're benefiting off of a system that was built by your ancestors because of what they did. At the same moment, natives like myself and even younger generations are still feeling the repercussions of what your ancestors did. So do not, I repeat, do not come onto my page or any other native's page and say that you shouldn't face the consequences of what your ancestors did, because that is complete BS. Honestly, pagan tribalism is when you start saying things like, your ancestors make you responsible for anything they did in the past, and so we must punish you. This is sort of what biblical values came around to correct. Uh, you read Hammurabi's code, and Hammurabi's code says that, that kids can be punished for the sins of the parents, and then the Bible says, really, that's not supposed to happen. Obviously, history has consequences, right? There's no question. For everyone, history has consequences. Some of the consequences of that history are terrible. Some of the consequences of that history are good. Like that particular Native American woman, uh, obviously, she is using some sort of sophisticated phone equipment in order to film this and place it on TikTok, a Chinese service. Right? There are lots of consequences to civilizational development. Some of them are good and some of them are bad. But to suggest that people today must pay the price for the sins of people in 1828, when, by the way, one of the great lies that's also been told about you know, sort of colonization and, and tribal warfare is that it began with the West. It absolutely did not. Native American tribes fought each other to a bloody pulp for centuries before the arrival of Westerners. That's not an excuse for, for Western treatment. It is a reality of history. But this, this basic notion that I am righteous because my ancestors were victimized, whereas you are unrighteous because your ancestors were the victimizers in a particular situation, uh, is a recipe for never-ending tribal warfare. We'll get to more TikTok torture in just one second. First, let us talk about your home security. Very often, we have packages that come to our door, and I'm not home, and so I need to be able to talk to the person at the door. Well, this is where Ring comes in. Somebody's dropping off a package or somebody's stopping by to see one of my kids. I can actually talk to the person. They can talk back to me. It is extremely useful. And Ring comes in handy all the time. With my Ring Alarm security system, I am much more at ease when I'm on the road or away from home because I can check in anytime from anywhere. My Ring Alarm equals peace of mind. You can protect your home too with Ring Alarm. Ring Alarm is a powerful, affordable home security system you can easily install yourself. It works seamlessly with other Ring products in one simple app. You can keep an eye on every corner of your house, with indoor and outdoor cams, see what's happening right from your phone. When I'm at home, I've got a bunch of kids running around. Sometimes you just look around and one is gone. Where did they go? Well, good news. I've got the app. I can tell. Go to ring.com slash Ben for a special offer on a Ring Alarm security kit today. You can build a system that is right for your home. Have it up and running in just minutes. That is ring.com slash Ben. Again, ring.com slash Ben for the special deal. I've spent the summer trying to stay in my little bubble, you know, decompress from this dystopian nightmare we've been living in for so long. And I'm hearing we have to wear masks again. <laughs> like, what the f***? Like, I'm so sick of the same people f***ing everything up for all of us. Like, first you guys elect Trump, and it's like, you know, thank you, f*** you very much for that. And uh, then you guys were like, oh, sweet, let's light tiki torches and be openly racist again. And then you guys were like, global pandemic? Fake news, let's make this way harder than it has to be. And then you guys were like, you know, maybe you guys might have been right about climate change, but it's really too late to do anything about it, so f*** it. And then you guys were like, life-saving vaccine? The government's trying to kill us and you guys are too stupid to take it. And now I gotta wear a fucking mask again? Because if you f again? Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you guys? Uh, I'm not the one on TikTok, lady. 
like just ranting into my into my camera phone. TikTok just seems like a place for for people with serious mental problems. I like how she lumped everybody in together there also. Who is you guys? So everybody who voted for Trump is a tiki torch carrying white supremacist who also rejects vaccines. Also, if she's really wor worried about wearing a mask, like don't. No, it seems like you're the one who's trying to foist something on somebody else. Why isn't it the fault of your politicians who are cramming down mask mandates? If you're really pissed about wearing a mask, don't. And if you're vaccinated, you're safe. So what are you whining about? And Corn Pop was a bad dude. And he ran a bunch of bad boys. One of the things you had to use, <laughs> if you use pomade in your hair, you had to wear a bathing cap. You, off the board, or I'll come up and drag you off. Well, he came off. And I, he said, I'll be waiting for you. He was waiting for three guys in straight razors. Not a joke. <laughs> oh, that's, some, that's some solid stuff right there. That's, that's good stuff. Hi, my name is Julia. I love abortion and attention. It's true. If you hold your hand up like this long enough, um, people will stop getting pregnant. Actually, I'm pretty sure abortion does make a baby go away. Gosh, can she stop taking other designers' designs? It's actually really not cool. Abort it, abort it, abort it, abort it, abort it. Abort it. Look at all of the cops here to make sure that no one steals anything from Sephora. Is this the Nikki version? What the f The pride that abortion rights advocates take in actual abortion is kind of astonishing, right? We went real fast from safe, legal, and rare to- Please kill my baby! My, baby. my favorite part here is where she's like, I think it does make a baby go away. Well, at least we're acknowledging the obvious now. At least we're just acknowledging that you like killing babies. So points for honesty there. Like really more points to honesty for this lady. And for most abortion advocates who are like, oh, it's just a cluster of cells. It means not. at least this lady's like, yeah, it's a baby and I don't care and I'll kill it. Okay, so at least we can see your evil on full display. So points for that. Clarity is uh, clarity's a good thing. Alrighty, so the honest takeaway from TikTok videos is that it is a bunch of people who have serious problems and have been poisoned, poisoned, by the intersectional wokeness of today. Ideological leftism is just an absolute cancer. I mean, look how it has screwed with people's heads. This is cancer. Look at the insanity that they're preaching and cheering and feel like they ought to be cheered for. The scariest thing about this is, of course, millions of young kids are gonna watch this stuff. And so it's young kids watching videos of young people indoctrinating young children in many of these cases. Yeah, there's something seriously wrong with our culture, and that's what these woke videos show. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see me be tortured a little bit more by my producers, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!